there is no doubt that drones are incredibly noisy. And the DJI Mavic Air, one of my favorite drones, um, makes a very annoying high pitch sound far higher than any other larger drone. So it's form factor, the thing I love about it, it's size and the package that it packs down into also means it is really annoying to uh, listen to for long periods of time because it's a higher pitch sound. Now, that is because of the rotational frequency of the propellers. Essentially, as they're spinning through the air, they're creating little vortices and also disturbing the air, and they're spinning around and around and causing kind of a, uh, a hum because the rotational frequency, it passes through the same spot over and over again at a certain number of times per second, and that produces that buzzing, that humming sound that drones are are very sort of well known for. Um, another thing that people don't realize as well is that as the drone passes, as the propeller of the drone passes over the arm and the body, that also creates this kind of high pressure region just in here, which can also mean that if you've got larger propellers or that your drone has smaller arms, that can also increase the uh, amount of noise and the type of noise that the drone is making. And lastly, the uh, properties of the propellers. Now, length, pitch, depth of the pro propeller, the condition, whether or not it's smooth on the top or whatever, all of those things can actually make a um, drone sound very different. Um, and those are the things that we need to combat if we want to make a drone quieter. We've really got two options. The first one is that we absorb the sound some way, and the second way is that we change the properties of the sound so that they, it is less uh, annoying to our ears, and that's what we'll talk about in this video. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com, so go check it out. I'll put a link in the description, and on there I have tons more information about making your drone quieter, and also the link to the products so that you can buy the low noise propellers for certain types of drones and also the companies that are working on making your drone quieter. Shush. So the first thing that we talked about was reducing the sound by absorbing the sound that's produced by the drone, and the second way is changing the property of the sound so that it's less annoying. Um, one thing that we didn't talk about was the fact that you can actually increase the amount of propellers. So we are very used to the quadcopter, like this form, is very familiar to anyone who's bought a DJI drone, but also there are drones that come with six or more um, propellers, and that will actually help reduce the noise. And in fact, NASA has worked on this since 2015. In 2015, that was when drones were uh, touted as the next big thing for package delivery. And so what they did is they tried to make a drone that was incredibly quiet, and it actually contained eight propellers, and uh, it was so light, I think it was a carbon fiber construction, that when it was only 30 meters in the air, you could barely hear it. So in fact, increasing the number of propellers is, is very important to um, reducing the sound. And so if that is important to you, there are hexacopters, I think they're called, so that's six things, uh, six propellers, and they are quieter in general than this. So they're better for sort of like wildlife photography, um, and also they're incredibly stable as well. So if you're flying in very um, sort of challenging windy conditions, you can use a hexacopter, so six propellers, um, and that will reduce the noise, but also make the drone much more stable. Another way that you can make your drone quieter is to use larger propellers. Now you have to be very careful if you've got a stock standard sort of DJI type drone because you know the propellers are made for the drone and so you can't really change it too much. Whereas if you're building your own drone, you can reduce the sound of it by changing the size of the propellers. Now the Mavic Air, like I said, has got shorter propellers and um, 
it's kind of, uh, I guess, less pitched propellers than some of their other ones. And what that means is that it actually sounds like a swarm of bees. Now go check out my other video if you wanna know about why um, bees attack drones. This is one of the reasons, but this it really does sound like a swarm of bees when you take off. Whereas I've flown right next to other DJI brand drones. Uh, I think it was the Pro and they just sound much nicer. It's a lower pitch. And so not only is it the kind of, uh, volume of the sound, but it's the property of that sound that really makes it stand out from the background. So um, getting larger propellers if you're building your own drone um, also makes a huge difference, but obviously you want to make sure that it stays away from the body, and you can do that by increasing the length of the arms, which means as well that there's less high pressure region here. Right here is where a lot of the noise can be generated as the propeller passes over the body and the arm of the drone. So um, bigger propellers could help. Another thing that could really help is to sand down the surface of the propeller. Now these propellers are injection molded. And so what that means is they have a mold and they inject hot plastic in, they let it set and they pop them out. Um, and that's just for reproducibility and also mass manufacturing. But what happens is, is actually you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see, I'll, I'll zoom in, uh, but you can actually get lots of impressions on the propeller. So here I've got a direction with a padlock, but also some weird clockwise uh, 5332S, I guess is the model number of this propeller. And so those small imperfections on the surface of the drone, as particularly the leading edge of the propeller, can actually um, increase the amount of noise ever so slightly. So if you are concerned about that, one thing you can do is get a very fine sanding paper and just sand off any of those numbers and bumps and directions. Um, and that should help reduce the sound of the drone ever so slightly. So you can do that. And also another thing is if you've got any chips or bumps in the leading edge of the um, propeller, you can actually sand those down as well because any of those kind of small imperfections along the front can cause uh, a number of different frequencies and overtones to be generated as the propeller spins through the air. And ultimately, if it's really chipped and damaged, just replace it um, because that's far more important because that's a safety issue. Another thing you can do is buy low noise propellers. And so for the DJI Mavic Air, there are plenty of aftermarket third party um, stealth type propellers. And so make sure that you buy propellers that are specific to the drone that you have, just because it's gonna be very important. They fit uh, snugly and securely into the motor. If they don't, if they have too much movement, it can cause instability and issues flying your drone. Um, so make sure that you buy ones that fit well uh, and there are plenty of options. So go check it out for your model of drone and just make sure that it is made specifically for your model because that will assure you a safer flight. And the last way we talked about it is not only changing the properties, but also just absorbing the sound. Now, there aren't too many companies looking to do this, but there is a company called Dotterall. Dotterall is a company that kind of essentially produced these shrouds for drones. It's like a big sort of circular um, sort of uh, cushion that goes around the drone. It does two things. First of all, it is made of a material that absorbs frequencies at the frequency that the drone is generating. So it's absorbing the sound and stopping it from going in anywhere, just like um, a big old bit of car carpet on the wall absorbs the sound, it does that around the propeller. But also, instead of also uh, kind of absorbing the sound, it pushes the sound up. Now remember that drones are flown in the sky. So really it's the sound coming down this way that makes the biggest uh, impact to the people on the ground. So by deflecting the noise upwards, this just means that the drone noise is not impacting people. So it's like, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one around, does it make a sound? Well, in this case, with if, it, if the sound goes up, does it make a sound? Well, there's no one to hear it down below, up above, unless, uh, I don't know, you're above it for some strange reason. But uh, you can actually deflect the sound using these shrouds and that will reduce the noise that is generated and perceived from people on the floor. 
So there we have it. There are all of the ways that you can make your drone quieter. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that, and I shall see you in the next video.